Welcome to Wemis 2015 with training that is smart and simple presented by Chemscape. Before we continue, let me introduce myself, the narrator of this course. I'm Reg. And I'm Stu. So with this course, we'll have you up to speed on Wemis basics and how to use Wemis every day on the job. Stu, tell our audience, what is Wemis? Absolutely. I have two versions and both are absolutely stupendous. <laughs> you ready? Wemis. First, what the heck makes I sick? Uh, second, what the heck makes I safe? <laughs> Excuse me? Stu, these are official programs and these are their official titles. These letters stand for something. WIMIS stands for the Workplace Hazardous Materials Information System. With this course, we'll prepare you for a big change in workplace chemical safety. Canada is transitioning from the old WIMIS system known as WIMIS 1988 to the new WIMIS system called WIMIS 2015. During this transition period, you're required to be trained on both the old and new system, as you may encounter products with labels and hazard symbols from both WIMIS systems. But Reg, why are we changing? What was wrong with the old WIMIS? Well, with an increase in international trade, there is a need to harmonize chemical hazard classification and communication worldwide. For example, a product produced in China will have the same classification and communicate hazards in a universal standard no matter which country it's shipped to. The changes will reduce confusion, ensure compliance, and maintain the health and safety of workers both here and abroad. So what has changed? Let's quickly review some of the significant changes from Wemis 1988 to Wemis 2015. Controlled products will now be known as hazardous products. Some of the hazard classes are different, and there's more of them. The round hazard symbols will now appear as red diamond symbols. The MSDS will now be called an SDS. There will also be visible changes to supplier labels in the workplace. When is all this change happening? Right now. In fact, most of our trading partners have already adopted GHS standards. Canada is actually one of the last countries to do so. Our biggest trading partner, the United States, has already implemented GHS with a deadline of June 2015 for compliance. That means Canadian workplaces will see new labels and safety data sheets entering their work sites if they receive chemical products from U.S. suppliers. We may see labels and symbols from both women's systems or see SDSs and MSDSs in the workplace. That's why we need to be trained during this transition phase on both Wemis 1988 and Wemis 2015. The first half of this course will focus on Wemis regulations from 1988. If you've been working with hazardous chemicals for years, we'll refresh your memory with valuable information that's always good to stay on top of. The second half will present Wemis 2015 regulations, which will be the new standard for chemical safety going forward in Canada. So here's how the course will work. Stu and I will present the content, and then there will be a few knowledge checks and quizzes for you to take along the way. Once you pass the final test, you'll get a certificate and a wallet-sized card. For this course to help you the most, focus on more than just getting the card. Make this training personal. If you're wondering why it's important to make the training personal, then you need to read the story of Steve Garn, a welder. Click the button Steve Garn's Story to read what happened to Steve. Use the arrows to navigate through his account.